let's talk about a little checklist of things that you need to think about that you're going to need as a mobile dental hygienist. Now I say need, but of course this is different for everybody. And I will go through a couple items where I'm going to say, well, this would be nice to have, but do you really need it? No, unless it's maybe for you something that you do really need. You know, it's not just a want, but it could be a need, but this will help to get you started. So you're going to need a portable compressor unit. This is what has the air, the water, the suction. Now, if you plan to only go to nursing homes, as an example, I don't think this is something that you need at all because seniors don't like the air. They don't like the water. When I go to nursing homes, I don't bring it at all. And it was an $8,000 portable compressor unit. But when I go into clients' homes, offices, when I see clients in my own home, I absolutely set it up because as I mentioned, it has the air, the water, the suction. If I'm using my piezo unit, which is a separate attachment, I need the suction to be able to suction up the water. So is it a need? Is it a want? It really depends on what type of mobile dental hyg hygienist you want to be. Same with the next one. Do you need a portable patient chair? I absolutely have one. I, I just purchased a zero gravity chair from Amazon. If you go to my Amazon store link, you will actually see the one that I purchased in there. The main thing you want to consider is that it's good for at least 300 pounds. Not all zero gravity chairs are of good quality. So you may have to pay $200 for a really good quality one. That's what I did, but I don't have to worry about my patient falling through. OK, um, and it's still a lot cheaper than if you were to get an actual dental equipment type chair, you know, like the really heavy ones that aren't portable. Those are thirty thousand dollars. So you're really saving a ton of money. But again, if you're going into nursing homes, typically you would be seeing clients in their own bed because they're not mobile or in their wheelchair. So do you need a portable patient chair? Maybe, maybe not. Again, it depends on what type of mobile dental hygienist you're going to be. You're going to need sterilization equipment unless you're sterilizing your instruments in a dental office. If you know a dentist, you're working there anyway, and you just plan to take your instruments there every Thursday because you only work as a mobile dental hygienist once a week, then you don't need sterilization equipment because you're using somebody else's. But usually that's not the case. So you're going to need things like pouches. You're going to, of course, need a sterilizer, but you're going to need pouches. Or are you going to wrap up cassettes? You're going to need biological indicators, all of those things that come with having your own sterilization lab. So something to think about. You're going to need dental instruments because I'm just assuming you don't have any. Your basic exam kit, your, you know, scalers, curettes, all of that. If you have a piezo or cavitron, tips for that, you're going to need your dental instruments. What about infection control supplies? So masks, bibs, gloves, barriers, you're going to need those. I do have a list here because I didn't want to forget anything. Um, patient education materials. So if you plan to educate the clients, which I do all the time, I purchased an intraoral camera that hooks up to my laptop so I can take pictures inside the mouth. I also have larger tooth models that I can show them, say their, their periodontal disease on a tooth model. I can show them what the teeth look like for kids. You know, I have different types of tooth models for that. I have tooth models for implants, um, amalgams, composites. All of these I did purchase from Amazon. So definitely have a look at my Amazon store. Again, is this something you need? Maybe not. Maybe you just plan to look up pictures on the internet and then just quickly show what an implant looks like on your phone. That's a way around it too. But this is something that has really helped me in my practice is getting those patient education models. People love them and it just makes me look like more of an expert in my opinion, but it really depends on if you want them. Um, a payment processing system. Sorry, I'm kind of skipping ahead. So Sorry, let's keep that one on hold for a second, but you're going to need a portable LED dental light. If you have a light on your loops, if you have loops, then that's perfect. Or you can get a light that is, is like a headband for around the head and it shines a light that way. It's not expensive. I paid $26 for mine. Again, Amazon store. Check out my Amazon store. You will find some great things that are inexpensive because you're going to need to see. When you're walking into a nursing home or anybody's home, you don't know what the lighting situation is. Honestly, even if they turn on all the lights, 
I still feel like I can't really see inside the mouth perfectly, especially if you're looking at that last tooth, the upper left hand side, it's great to have a portable light of some kind. You are going to need an, appo an appointment scheduling software, but all in all, a dental hygiene software. Again, do you need this? I don't know. You might just want to do everything on paper or digitally on a computer. That's up to you, but it was worth the investment for me to get a dental hygiene software. For mine, I use Dome Track. They're amazing. Um, if you want a referral code, I do have one for you, so definitely email me. They're fantastic. At the time when I purchased mine, it was $3,000 one-time fee, which is amazing. It's basic. It doesn't have all of the bells and whistles like a dental office software does, but they're like thousands upon thousands of dollars a month. I just wanted one, a one-time fee, keep it simple, and it does the work that I need it to do. It books appointments, you know, schedules appointments. I can put my schedule in there, takes payment. I can process claims electronically. I can look up a patient's file right away. That's what I need it for. And $3,000 a one-time fee, amazing. There's also a yearly support fee, which again, makes sense to purchase that if you ever need help, but it's not expensive. I think it's about $1,000 a month, but don't quote me because it does depend on what you need. But you guys, I mean, sorry, I, th I think I said $1,000 a month. I meant $1,000 a year. Um, but I mean, that's so inexpensive compared to the other dental hygiene softwares out there. Okay, so then you need a payment processing system. How are you going to collect payments? Is it going to be by credit card, email money transfer, depending on where you're living? Do they accept? email money transfer is it cash only um, the square processing payments is the most popular look them up I just use an email money transfer option if patients want to pay by credit card I just simply send them an invoice so it's a little bit different for me I have a software al already set up through my tutoring if you didn't know I tutor dental hygiene and dental assisting students pass the board exam so I use the stripe payment processing but that's online so in the one time or two times a year that patients want to pay by credit card for me I just send them an online link but square is the most popular look into that one for sure um, I do direct billing for all of my patients so they only pay me what the insurance doesn't cover so it might be $26 it could be more it could be less but usually they have no problem sending an email money transfer um, medical history forms I use Google Forms. I talk about this more in my course, the Mobile RDH Academy. Definitely check it out if you're looking to start your mobile dental hygiene practice where I go step by step. But I use Google Forms to make all of my medical history and consent forms. So that way I can just email it to them. Super simple. They just fill it out and it's all online. I just have to open up the app. I can see it anytime. You can open it up online, your laptop, tablet, phone. It doesn't matter. I like things to be easy. Pardon me, you guys. Um, and then you need things. Okay, so we talked about masks, bibs, gloves. Also think about things like polishing paste. A polisher, I have a cordless polisher, which I love. You need things like toothbrushes. Um, you need things like floss, sulca brushes, oral hygiene aids, so toothpaste if you wanna give those to clients. So all of these things, something to think about. A first aid kit. I purchased mine from Amazon, I kept it simple. But then there's a separate emergency kit. We do need that emergency kit. I just purchased mine from Hansed online and H A N S E D something like that. I don't know. Look that up emergency kit and then you will find some gear towards dental hygienists. Um, I talked about loops already, those magnifying safety glasses. I love mine. There's a light attached to it too if I ever need it. Um, I left a note on marketing materials. So do you plan to get business cards? Are you going to print brochures for nursing homes? Um, are you going to print flyers and take them to patients' homes, like mailboxes? I guess there's no mailboxes, slip them under the doors. I don't know. Think about kind of marketing materials and what you want to do. Um, comfort items for patients. So I, 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 um, 
I wrote this down. So do you want to maybe offer a warm towel? Um, that's a bit hard to do mobile, but if you're just seeing clients in your own home, you could say use a crock pot and that can be like a towel warmer. Are you going to offer neck pillows, um, headphones, you know, think about how you want to make their experience a little bit different and maybe a little bit better. Um, insurance and legal documents. So you're going to need things like proper liability insurance. Um, you're going to need to look into things like call your auto insurance company if you want extra insurance on your car because you're just using your car for work or you want to have that extra insured because of your mobile dental hygiene business, contact them. And then your home insurance, if you're seeing clients in your own home or at the very least storing all of your mobile equipment in your home, you might want extra insurance in case there's a fire, in case it gets stolen, anything like that. But you have to look into all of that because it is dependent on where you live. Make that phone call and they'll be able to help you. Um, cleaning supplies, so disinfectants, um, things like, um, like disinfecting solution for cleaning out the lines. If you have a portable compressor, all of these things you need to think about. Um, HIPAA, so HIPAA compliant technology, make sure if you're just doing your charts on paper that you keep everything in a locked filing cabinet that is paper safe, paper safe, fire safe. Or let's say you're just doing digital charting where you don't have a, a dental hygiene software, but you're just doing like everything in a Word document and then you're storing them on files on your computer. Well, make sure your, your computer and those files are password protected. So this is different for everybody. It depends on your province. It depends on where you live, but make sure they are compliant. How do you know? Simply ask your dental hygiene association what the rules are on being HIPAA compliant, especially for technology. And last but not least, I have to mention this, but make sure you're an active dental hygienist. You have to be licensed as a dental hygienist to be a mobile dental hygienist. You have to have an active license. You have to be a part, at least in Canada, the CDHA network for dental hygienists because this allows you to submit claims electronically. Check your specific province, kind of what you need um, and what like specialty license you might need, if any, on being a mobile dental hygienist because you're working for yourself. There's more responsibility when you're not working for a dentist, but you're working for for yourself. So I hope this checklist helped you guys. Again, I did mention at the beginning of the video, if you want a step-by-step -step and more help, definitely consider joining the Mobile RDH Academy. Look at my website, dentalel.com, or I can leave the link for you, of course, down below. I've been a mobile dental hygienist since 2018. I love what I do. I know it's very overwhelming. I'm here to help you. The course gives you everything you need step-by-step, -step, including full support by me because you're going to have a million questions and I'm here to help. Thank you guys for watching. Please click like if you do like this video. That does help me and my channel. It does help to support me too, to allow me to do um, complimentary free videos like this and not charge you. So I do hope this really helped. My name is Andrea Trowski. If I didn't mention that already, and if you don't know me, thank you for watching once again. I do appreciate it. I hope this helped. And you guys so all you have a great day. in your own home, I can see patients in mine, I just have to